Hello everyone, in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create your own spinner action button. To do that we're going to use a max grip listener and just a few slime modifications in the code which the listener prints out. So you can uh, start the listener from the scripting menu here or you can uh, hit the F11 key. And to make it work you have to turn on the macro recorder here. Just hit enable. Now if you are creating a sphere, uh, the macro recorder prints out the necessary uh, code uh, to re-execute it. So once we are finished with the sphere creation, let's delete it. Copy out this line, paste it here and hit the but enter. As you can see, uh, we have recreated our sphere which we have created before. Also, sometimes we would like to change the number of segments. So if we are uh, changing uh, the number of segments here, the listener also prints it out. So in the next step, what we're gonna do is to create a new menu like this one. I've just simply prepared it for ourselves. Uh, and what we have to do is just simply edit right click spinner and here we have our spinner settings. Uh, yeah, first I have to activate it and as I showed you before, when we created a simple sphere here, the listener just simply printed out uh, all the things which we need to create our sphere. So what I have to do is to paste it here and we have to define what parameters would like to change uh, using our mouse movement. To do that we have to choose from these values. Uh, zero means horizontal move, uh, one means vertical move and two means mouse wheel. So if we like to change the radius for example on the horizontal uh, mouse move, we have to type in this here. Most likely we're like we want to create in the center of our scene. Not always, but now we're gonna make it there. So let's save it. Once we've done that, we have to assign a hotkey for it. So the name of the menu is new spinner menu. New spinner menu here. Oops. Okay, let's assign a hotkey. No, not that. Um, okay, for example, this one. And now, once we've deleted that original one, uh, we can start menu. And once we simply click with the right mouse button and we tr start moving it, as you can see, we can change the radius of our sphere. Now we're gonna change the code just a little bit and we're gonna move our sphere into the pre-max script actions. So pre-max script actions are executed only once when you're using your spinner and since we want to create our sphere only once we can move it here. So type in s equal sphere this way. And now what we have done, we just put our sphere into the variable s, which is good because now we can change its parameters, like the radius, like this. And we want to change the radius using the horizontal mouse axis, so we have to type in this and also we would like to change the number of segments so we are typing this and we just want to change it using our mouse wheel so we have to type in two okay let's save and check what we have created as you can see when our new wing our mouse on the horizontal axis we're changing the radius and if we start spinning our wheel we are actually 
adding more, more and more segments. If we are decreasing it, removing our num the number of segments. So it's really simple. So I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial. In the next part, I'm going to show you how you can create context sensitive menus, which is pretty good because the, using context sensitivity, you can create uh, really uh, multifunctional buttons and spinners, which can control almost all kind of objects. So I hope you like this tutorial and see you next time.